peel off all the paper pattern and all the tape. That includes that first piece of tape that you held the edges together with. Take the tape off carefully so you don't bend the aluminum. Now you fold the flaps the rest of the way over. It's really important that the fold line must not wander from the straight fold line you started on the edge of the table. It will wander if you don't pay attention to it as you fold it, especially on the ends. I think the best way is to use a plastic identification card to help keep the fold straight. My students never cut their fingers on the aluminum because they know intuitively not to slide their fingers laterally on the edge. You are going to fold it flatter still, but don't do it this way. Instead, take a ruler or something flat like that and pound it flat on a table. If your ruler is plastic and not flat, you'll have to find something else to flatten it with. There might be a couple of wavy spots, but it's pretty flat. Please be careful not to accidentally do what I'm about to demonstrate. If you kink the metal even a little bit, like that, you'll ruin it. It doesn't look like a big deal, but the engine won't work and you'll have to start over. So be gentle when handling your project. Carefully peel all the tape off. Fold the edges the rest of the way over. Exactly on the folds started. Pound the engine flat with something flat. Don't bend your engine.